Hello there! This is a tutorial for how to make clothespin puppets just like this one. So I'm going to show you how to make any kind of puppet of any kind of critter you want, but it's going to use a clothespin and some paper just like this. Let's get our supplies ready. So for this style of puppet, you're going to need the following materials. You'll need your clothespin puppet template that looks like this. It's in your puppet kit in the folder. You're going to need at least one of your clothespins, a pencil, something to color with. I'm going to use colored pencils, a pair of scissors, and then you can use a glue stick or a tape. You can also use a glue bottle if you have one. All right, so here are our steps for our clothespin puppet. First, we're going to draw then we'll color. Step three is cut and step four is finish. So this is my blank template and our first step is to draw on the activity. I've got one example here. I'm going to draw another one here for you right now. Um, we're going to make a face. So I want to think about that my face is looking one direction much like this one is here. So I'm going to start with an eye. Okay, I can choose which side to put the eye on. I think I'm gonna put the eye on this side this time. And I think I'm gonna do a big eye. Um, I'll put some eyelashes off of it in a different style. I'm gonna do another circle inside and draw my eye. And I'm gonna start by shading in some of that color so it looks like an eye. Now you may notice there's this dotted line across the middle here and that's where the mouth is going to be. So that's going to be the mouth of my puppet. So I'm gonna do a mouth that looks like it has some teeth. So I'm gonna draw a line out here and bring it underneath that dotted line and back and then I'm gonna draw some like teeth shapes in there. So it looks like it's got a big toothy smile. Same thing on this, on the bottom part. I'm bringing those teeth up to that dotted line. So I've got my teeth there. Now, I think this particular critter is going to have a pointed ear. I don't know, maybe it's a person, maybe it's a cat, um, but I'm gonna give it a pointed ear. I'm gonna bring that actually up and over the edge of my circle here. Um, and then just remember when I'm cutting it out to add that in and I'm gonna actually go in and give it some fur like qualities to it. So I'm gonna f um, put some squiggles on my line there to give it some fur like qualities. And I think to give it some added details, I'm gonna give it some spots. So I'm gonna make some spots um, along here. They could go over the line if I want. So I could do one here that's over the line. I'm gonna do some smaller spots, some different sized spots just kind of showing that this creature is at um, whatever puppet I'm drawing here has some spots on it. Now, if we look back at our steps, I'm pretty happy with that. So I finished my draw step and now I'm going to color. So I'm gonna get out my colored pencils and add some color to this. Um, I am feeling like blue. I'm gonna give it some blue polka dots, I think. So I'm gonna go back in and color in my polka dots. You can always slow yours down and color yours a little more nicely than I am. But for time, I've colored in some blue polka dots. I'm gonna use some black and really give some shadow here in the mouth where there aren't teeth so that you can really see where those teeth are. Fabulous, fabulous. And I don't know, maybe I'll make the rest of my critter green. So I'll give this ear some green. Um, ooh, I'm gonna color in the inside of my ear red. Color in some more green. And just kind of give it some green throughout. Again, I'm coloring very quickly. Um, but you can color yours much nicer than me. I'm gonna turn my paper. And there you have it. I've got my critter all colored 
and I'm gonna move on to the next step. All right, so now we're on step three. I've already drawn and colored. Um, I actually have two puppets here, and now I need to cut out my puppets. Now, when I go to cut out these puppets, I wanna cut around the outside of this circle, and actually both my puppets, I went off of the circle, so I need to make sure to cut out those pieces as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out right here so that we can make it into a puppet. All right, now that I've cut out my puppet, for my clothespin puppet, I actually have one more cutting step. There's one more thing I have to cut, and that's across this dotted line here in the middle. I need to cut this puppet in half, which feels pretty scary, so make sure you try your best to cut in a nice straight line. So I'm gonna hold it in my left hand just like this. I'm gonna line up my scissors and open them as wide as I can and line it up and do a nice long cut as far as I can. All right, I did pretty good. I'm gonna open my scissors nice and wide again, place them on that line, and a nice long cut. I should have two pieces of my puppet now that fit back together to look like the original. Two pieces fitting the original. Okay, now that we've got our two pieces um, of our clothespin puppet cut out. We're gonna use our clothespin and I'm gonna use this glue stick to glue it onto the clothespin. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna glue the top part onto the top part of this clothespin here and the bottom part of the face onto the bottom part so that when we open and close the clothespin, it's like this critter is opening and closing its mouth, okay? So um, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the top edge of my glue st of my clothespin right here. Um, I put it right along there, and then I'm gonna take my critter and I'm gonna set it on there. I can set it, I'm setting mine close, and I didn't put glue on this back end, so it's still loose, but I'm setting it there, and I'm gonna hold it for 10 seconds to make sure that holds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feels pretty good so far. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom. I'm gonna set my circle there, line up those teeth the way I want them, and I'm gonna hold it for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then, just like this, I can open and close the mouth of that puppet. Now remember, I left the back open so that when they move kind of towards each other, they still work. So just like this. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll come back and make more puppets soon.